finishing off our chapter on exponentials is third equations. Okay, so there's a few concepts here which you probably know from previous years. And then there's something that you're going to have to do every single time. And there will be no instruction. You need to check your answer. Okay, but they're actually quite straightforward and they tend to crop up quite frequently in matric exams actually. Okay, so what you've got to do is you've got to isolate the third. Okay, so that's an important thing. I'm going to just write this down. You always have to isolate the third, otherwise you can't then square it. Okay, and there's one vital error which most people make that I will show you. So I'm going to get this root of x minus 1 and I'm going to get it by itself. And now I can square both sides. That's really quite straightforward. I'm going to end up with just x minus 1 equals 9, so x will equal 10. Okay, you must do the check. You don't have to show it, but you can substitute in. I'll show you how to actually do it um, written out, but you don't have to show the writing out part. What you would do is you check left-hand side, and you check right-hand side, and you see if they give you the same thing. So if I now take my 10 minus 1, does that actually work out? Because this is now actually 9. Right, so that is 3 minus 3 equals 0. Yes, okay, so this is an answer that works. Okay, what about this one? Same concept, I'm going to keep my third by itself, and I'm going to move the things that are not in the third sign. And you might know immediately that it's not going to work. Okay, but let's just show you what happens and why we need to do the check. So if I go through the whole process here and I square both sides, I'm going to have x minus 1 equals 9, which means my answer will be 10. Okay, that's suspiciously the same as what I just got, but if I check it, I'm going to find something that doesn't work. I'm going to say 10 minus 1, but then I'm going to plus 3, and I'm going to see if that works. Okay, so the root of that is 3, right? Plus 3. Okay, no, it doesn't work. No solution. Okay, now what about those that are quadratic? With the ones that are quadratic, what you're going to find is that you'll have an answer that works and another one that doesn't work. Okay, so we're isolating the third. And I'm moving everything else. Okay, please note there's already something on the right-hand side. So when I move that across, I'm going to have x minus 1. And here's the big error everybody makes. Now I'm going to square both sides. Okay. And I can only do that if I've isolated the third. And what people go and do on the right-hand side is they go and say that's x squared minus 1. And it just isn't. It is c a binomial squared Write it out and foil it out. Okay, write it twice. So that's just 2x plus 1, that's fine. Please make sure you get the right hand side. These questions are expensive. They have 5, 6, sometimes 7 marks each. Okay, depending on how much you have to do. Right, so this is going to be x squared minus 2x plus 1. Now we've got to go through the whole quadratic equation thing, which is why it's worth so many marks. Put everything on one side. That's going to be x squared minus the 4x, and then the 1s will cancel. There could be another term here in another question, but for this one there isn't. So I then need to remember that this has a common factor, and that's the way this one works. A lot of people somehow turn this into a dots, which means you really, really get funny answers. So x equals 0 or x equals 4. Okay, now for the check. When you do your check left-hand side, right-hand side, and I'm not going to show the writing out, it's really unnecessary, all you do is you sub in your 0 into the x, into the original question, and you get your answer. And you check whether your left-hand side actually equals your right-hand side. And you do it for both the 0 and the 4. And what you're going to find out is that it doesn't work for the 0, and it does work for the 4, and you actually get a mark for doing that. 
Okay, your final answer then, and you'll see that in textbooks and memos, is they just give the one answer and you're like, but I've got two. But the whole point is, and worth a whole mark, you have to cancel out the one that doesn't check out.